Hi there. Imagine having an AI coding assistant right inside VS Code without spending a single dime. Sounds amazing, right? In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Code GPT with Olama to get instant code suggestions, debugging helps, and refactoring tips. And the crazy part is it all runs locally with zero API cost. Now, what are Code Assist? Code Assistant is an AI powered tool that helps developers write, debug, and optimize their code more efficiently. It provides real time suggestions, explains errors, generates documents, and even offers complete code snippets with AI coding assistant like code GPT developers can now boost productivity reduce errors and enhance their coding experience stay till the end trust me you don't want to miss this all right the first step is to ensure that VS code and Olama are installed if you haven't done that yet don't worry you can find this step-by-step -step tutorial guide that will pop up in the tooltip or find the link in the video description let's open VS code first once VS code is open on the left the sidebar you can see extensions click on extensions then search for code GPT click on code GPT the official one where the website is codegpt.co and click on install yes i trust and it is installed the left menu you can see code gpt again click there and now let's sign up i will use google to sign up you can use github or google anything open and it will open google for us to sign up and once you have authorized yourself using google or github you will be landed this page yeah that means you are authorized now click to open code yes open visual studio code open and there you go you have code gpt installed and ready to use now let's see how to use it with olama first i will open a folder i have already created a folder in my system let me navigate to that folder and open i have an empty folder now where i will write my codes i will create a reverse string dot py file i'm going to write a simple python program let's open code gpt now before we do this let's see if our olama server is up or not i will open my terminal you can open either command prompt or powershell and see if your olama server is up or not then i will see what models i have here yeah i have three models gwen deepseek llama 3.1 i will select the local llm click here come to local llm and select the model that you have that you want to use i will select gwen 2.5 and then i will say write a simple program in python to reverse a string then it makes an api call our local olama server it makes this api call to the local olama server and there you go we have our first program written by code gpt we can insert a code by clicking on insert a code or either you can select it copy it right click and paste it now let me say to document this file with a slash document and let's see what it does it makes an api call again to the local olama server to the quin 2.5 model that we have in hosted in our local machine and it generates the document for us let me select this and overwrite this and there you go you have your documentation written by the llm now next thing what i will do is i will tell to explain it right explain me this function what it does i will say slash explain and it makes an api call to the local olama server again it uses the gwen 2.5 model hosted in our machine and it explains me what is there right next thing what i will do is i will ask it to write a simple test for reverse string.py and there it is writing the simple test for us right so easy all right let me insert this generated code yes we have the test here that we can run but how do we run it right now let's see how to run this python application in vs code click on terminal new terminal click on terminal and new terminal then python version yeah python is installed in our system then i will say python hyphen m v e n b the command dot v e n b is a folder where the virtual environment will be installed and there we go we have our virtual environment installed now let me activate the virtual environment i will say source dot v e n b slash pin slash activate in windows machine it will be dot v e n b slash scripts slash activate and enter then i will run the application python and the class file and there you go we have the application running now what more we can do with code gpt let's say let's improve the reverse string dot py to include main function and enter it makes an api call again to the local olama server hosted and there you go right you have your code all right let me select everything and replace them with insert code yes there you go we have everything right okay what more we can do now let's select the other model right dipsic r1 we will select the piece of code that we want to explain yeah let me select this piece of code and i will say explain how main function works in python and enter and it makes an api call and there you go right it is started explaining how the main function works it says what we are doing in the context so it makes an api call to our dipsic model the dipsic model things and it responds right and we have the answer here and there you go you have successfully installed and configured code gpd plus olama unlocking the ai powered coding assistance for free enjoy the tutorial smash that like button subscribe for more ai coding hacks and i will see you in the next one